In this screencast, we're going to look at uh, an analysis of a propeller, and this actually analysis could, could even be um, aligned with a wind turbine. So, if we take a propeller and we have some wind uh, flowing through it, such as this, then you know if I take that propeller and just move it up there and consider the propeller more as a disc um, with this area here. Okay, so we're going to treat the whole propeller as just a disc where air is going to come through it and have some energy added to it in case a propeller or a wind turbine have the energy uh, removed from it. So we look at this disc, um, put it in my little background there that's it there when we're looking at it from the from the side. So air is going to come in through the propeller, have some velocity added to it by the propeller and accelerate behind it. So let's assume that this air follows these streamlines. Okay. So coming in that way and going out at the back. No, it's a it's a little bit of a stretch, but you know, just consider that the air is in these streamlines is bounded by these. Okay, so this area of the air doesn't have any effect on it. But it's a close enough approximation. Well, I know from the continuity equation that the mass of the air going through the disc here is rho s, uh sometimes velocity. So S is the area, and rho is the density, and V0 is the velocity air through the disk here. So let's label the areas. So we let's call the free stream velocity V uh, with a pressure of zero. And let's say the pressure right in front of the disk is P1, and the pressure behind the propeller disk is P2, and the velocity just as it's going through it is uh, V0 and somewhere back in the slipstream the pressure is going to drop back down then to the free stream pressure at a velocity Vs slipstream velocity. Okay, we'll call this side side 1 and this side side 2. Well I know from the continuity equation that the mass of the air so rho 1 s1 v1 is equal to rho 2 s v2. So this is all a constant. So I can say that the truss T is mass by acceleration. So the mass of the air going through the disk is is this rho s v0. And the acceleration is the velocity of the air out here in the slipstream, subtracting the velocity of the air over here in, in the free stream. So that's the truss produced by the propeller. Okay, but we also know that uh, the thrust can be represented by the difference in pressure. So P2 minus P1, high pressure, low pressure here. Uh, pressure acting on an area gives us a force. That's the definition of pressure. Pressure is force over area. So if I get the difference of these pressures, multiply it by the area S, I have a force, and I call that force thrust. Okay, so we have two, two equations here for thrust. Now, if we take Bernoulli's uh, equations, I can say that you know at this point here, the pressure, the static pressure, plus its dynamic pressure, half rho v squared, will be the same as the static pressure here and the velocity here, half rho v naught squared. And on the exit side, the static pressure here plus the velocity will be equal to the static pressure out here plus its dynamic uh, velocity, sorry, dynamic pressure. So if I take these equations, I can say, so if I take P2 here, uh, it's equal to this guy here. So if I take from P2 plus half rho v naught squares, if I take away this guy, as I've done down here, then that must be the same as taking this from this equation. Okay. 
So if we look at both sides, some things cancel out. The P naughts will cancel out, these will cancel out, and that's going to give me an equation. P2 minus P1 <laughs> is equal to half rho Vs squared minus V squared. Well, what's nice about that is um, I have P2 minus P1 here, and P2 minus P1 there. So therefore, I can say that they're both equal. So the trust now of the propeller is half rho s uh, vs squared minus uh, v squared. So basically this equation here multiplied by the s. But we already had an equation for t. We said trust was equal to mass by the acceleration difference between Vs and V0. So I can say these two are equal. Half rho S Vs squared minus V squared is equal to half rho S V0 times Vs minus V. Okay, so the rho S will cancel out on, on, on both sides and I'm left to it with this equation. Well, if we look at Vs squared minus V squared, Vs squared is equal to Vs minus V times Vs plus V. So I'm going to put this expression back in here. So this guy has been replaced by this. And immediately we can see that that is going to cancel out with that. And I have half Vs plus V. Now is equal to V naught, sorry. Now if you look at that uh, equation, what it's really telling us there is that the velocity of the air here through the propeller disc is the average value of the free stream velocity, sorry, free stream velocity and the slip stream velocity. Okay. So the velocity through the disc is the average of the input and the output velocities. And that is the same whether it's a propeller or a wind turbine. And we can use that then later on in some further analysis. But that's all I want to do for now. Thanks.